It's cold at the moment. It's winter time here in the UK and it was below freezing last night. I'm gonna get straight into something. I have been very kindly approached by the company Ansol to review their yet to be released and it's coming out very soon. I'm gonna get straight into it. It's the BS200 engine super starter. Let me open the box. I'm gonna get straight into demonstrating how this little device works because I tell you what, somebody has really thought out of the box because this is such an innovative product. I'll show you what you get. This little box here, this little box of tricks is quite something astonishing. Now this isn't actually a battery, it's fairly lightweight, but it has the ability to store power current in a capacitive form. You simply connect the positive and the negative, red to positive, black to negative, into your car. You can use these little cable clamps here temporarily if you're going between two different vehicles. And it's designed to be bolted directly to the battery terminals of your car battery. You can see that lights come on down below. The blue light is for your Bluetooth LED. There's an app which I'll cover in a second. And the green light shows that it's fully charged. So let me talk you through just how this BS200 and cell battery starter works. So under normal operation in your car, the car battery then starts the starter motor, which then turns the engine. Once everything's going, the alternator then keeps that battery charged for the next time that you start your car, amongst all the other things which the battery is providing power to the car. But initially, when you start your car, it's anything between about 100 amps and 300 cold cranking amps that you need, depending on the size of your car. And I'm gonna show you today on three very different cars just what this is capable of and that initial power that current which is just basically ohm's law and it's current over volts divided by resistance is what's drawing that initial power out of your battery and it takes time to recuperate that energy that's just been lost on initially starting the car because you're using the car's battery how the Ansel super engine starter works is it stores the power as a capacitive charge. It only takes a five volt battery. It can be as low as that for this to get charged up. It's got a low internal resistance, but a very high power output density. And that's what gives you the power in order to start the car. That's why it's capable of starting all sorts of different vehicles with a battery voltage as low as five volts, but you can go all the way up to 20 volts as well. And you can actually charge it separately if you wanted to via a USB-C then plug it into your battery and even if your battery is really low this here will give enough current to be able to start the starter motor and start your car and it will then just charge itself up again within a matter of minutes ready for the next time also this comes with an excellent app which you put onto your mobile phone you then choose the type of battery that you got whether it's a lead acid battery or an agm so this can be located permanently inside the engine bay you can see all of the power and how much energy you've got stored in this this is a plug and play unit once you've installed it in your car it's easy to find a place to put it you can see everything that's going on using the app and it will prolong the life of your car's battery because your car is no longer relying just on that battery to start the car. This gives that initial power that you need and it also detects through an algorithm when the weather's cold, those all important cold cranking amps. Anyway, enough talk. I'm gonna put it to test on three very different cars and let's see how the super starter works by Ansel. Now I'm gonna show you today on various cars. I'm gonna start it nice and easy with my little Fiat 500, it's a 1.2. This has been sat here for a number of weeks and I know the battery is low. Let's just see how good this Ansel starter is. So I've mounted it temporarily because as I said, I wanna show you on various cars. It's nice and small and neat and it will fit in pretty much any car. Just find a nice home for it. For me, it's, it's lovely on top of the fuse box couple of clips just to hold the wires in place and of course when you decided on the car you're going to put it in these two little spade connectors you simply screw them to the terminals of the battery plus or minus it's small and lightweight you could mount this anywhere you want if you wanted to i could probably mount it on top of the battery as well it's up to you to find a nice home for it on the front of the unit here there's a little blue led indication that's showing it's linked to my phone the green light is telling me that it's fully charged. There's also a manual discharge button as well. Okay, let's start the car and have a look and see what it says on the app.
And you can see that now the car has started straight away. The starter then goes into charging itself back up, ready for the next time that you start your car. Right, so that's just tested the water on this little Fiat 500. I'm gonna put it on a much bigger engine now, more than twice the size. It's my 3.7 liter Mercedes SL. And I know that that's been sat there for a number of days and the battery isn't gonna be at its normal full peak charged up capacity. It's gonna be a great test to see how this BS200 Ancel starter will give that car a little boost to start the engine. What's also a really good test here is that I've used this to start that Fiat twice. So let's see what it does on the Mercedes. So in this Mercedes SL, there's actually two batteries. There's a rear one, much larger battery, that actually sorts out things like the electronic roof, the stereo system, but there's a standalone dedicated smaller battery, it's called the starter battery, which looks after the starter motor starting the car and importantly the SBC pump which then governs the brake control it's a special setup on this car so this starter battery I've actually found because I've left it for a little while is a bit low on power and I'll show you that now my voltmeter so if you look at the volts there I've actually gone right down to 10.3 volts. And any garage in the land will tell you that any battery that's down as low as 10 volts is classed as a dead battery. In fact, any battery that's anywhere near 11 volts is classed as kaput, done. And you're gonna really struggle to start your car. So this will be a great test for the Ansel BS200 to see if this has got the capacitive charge to give that battery the boost that it needs. Because the specifications say that so long as your car battery has five volts, this BS200 will start your car. And that's a pretty big claim considering this is a 3.7 litre engine. And this particular starter motor for this car takes 200 amps. Most starters are anywhere between 100 and 300 amps. That's called cold cranking amps. And this is gonna take 200 of those amps to start it. So let's see what the Ansel can do. Connect this up temporarily for the purpose of this video. So there we go straight away. It's showing me that it's connected to my mobile phone and it's charged and ready to go. So let's start the car. Not bad. So straight away, what I can tell you is that started as strong as if my battery was fully charged up to 12 and a half volts. It did not sound like the battery was only down at 10 volts. And I think this is really proven itself. Let's see what the app says. And straight away, what's really nice is it's actually charged it up within a few minutes. This is back up to starting power now. We've got the capacitive charge ready to go for the next time you start your car. There's also a force start option, which increases the current for your car to start the starter motor even more. So let's give that a go. So force start, after clicking force start, start the engine immediately, the sooner the better. Let's give that a go, force start. 10 seconds, nine seconds. And you can see that it says starter successful. From that four start, it's used a lot more current, 82%, 84%. It's already charging right the way back up. You know, in terms of mounting this, you could put it anywhere you want. In fact, there's a lovely little space in my car just down to the side here. It's out the way, it's in the dry. And when I connect the terminals using the nuts on the existing battery lugs, that's it in there. You don't have to think about it. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm gonna now put it on a two and a half liter Range Rover, you lovely people. So as I said, this is two and a half liter Range Rover. It is a very power hungry vehicle, that's for sure. And I actually put a new battery in this just recently because if I leave the radio on for too long, it comes up with a low battery warning. So I know that this car can definitely benefit from some more power in the battery. 
it's there's plenty of room to be able to put this somewhere it's lightweight it's small and if i was to mount it inside here i could literally mount it behind on top of the battery there it comes with some cable ties in the kit and pop your thing back on again you would never know it's there and you can forget about it it's going to prolong the life of your car battery so again i'm going to connect it temporarily there we go bluetooth connected and it's showing it's fully charged ready to start the car As simple as that. And again, looking at the app, we're back up to 100% already. You know, when Ansel contacted me, I actually thought initially this was maybe a large battery pack which gets charged as you drive along. But I understand it now, it's nothing to do with batteries. It uses a capacitive storage ability. And inside you got this low internal resistance, but really high output. And that's what gives you that boost, that kick in order to be able to start the car. The lovely thing is that there's only two cables that you have to connect. You simply screw that to the top of the positive and negative of your car's battery, that's it. It's worry-free motoring after that. You never need to look at it again. You can see all of the information through the connectivity of the app or your mobile phone. And again, just to recap, this isn't gonna replace the battery of the car. That's not what it's designed for. But even if your car battery has gone right the way down, it says to five volts, this still can get charged up enough to be able to start your car. And then of course, as you then drive along, your car will then rejuvenate the power into the battery through the alternator but it's gonna be able to start a car. I'm telling you this, there's not many cars out there that I know when you've got a battery that goes below 10 volts that you're gonna be able to start it, but you can with this Super Ansel BS200. But the main thing for me right now is, I'm in the middle of winter right now. It's below freezing outside. And this is when your car's battery really do get a hammering when you're doing short journeys. And when you're first starting that car, that's what takes most power out of your battery. The BS200 by Ansel, this super engine starter, removes that problem where you're needing to use the battery to start the car because this will do it for you. That then means that your battery maintains that higher amount of voltage ready for using all the other essentials on a cold winter's day, such as your heated seats and steering wheel and your heated front window if you've got it. It's a great product, thoroughly recommended. You literally plug and play. Thank you so much to Ansel for allowing me to review this. There are gonna be some links down below. As I said, it's a brand new product, so it's only just coming out on the market. But what an innovative product it is, it really is.